Whatever is your fear, you have to face your fear and your fear will disappear. That's the only way to deal with trauma is to absolutely do the exact same thing that your fear is, to go 100% all in on it. To put that new chandelier, because sometimes God wants to create, give you a 30 pound chandelier, but he has to break the first one that's 20 pounds. This is the story of business, this is the story of this. Get comfortable with, with trauma. It's part of life, you can't, it happens to everybody. Don't let it ruin the rest of your life and not let you go on, which is happening to a lot of people. I'm giving you guys the spiritual effect. We could talk to therapists all day long. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna t tell you how to deal with it. But if I'm already telling you, don't, don't try to forget it. Don't, don't try to numb it. Don't try to repress the trauma. Just understand that every time I get a piece of glass in my foot, I'm gonna say, look, I have a beautiful new chandelier. And then I, I, I have a power to choose what I want to focus on. I can choose, I can choose the 50 pound chandelier. And then I can say, okay, this, my scars are my medals. That means you should look at your scars in your life. This is my medal. This is what my ex-wife did to me, for Hashem. This is what my this one did to me. Your scars, you should walk around with your scars as medals, not as weaknesses, not as bandages.